we now have an organism that has our uh, text input and we're gonna want to somehow store the contents of that text input when it changes into state so we can display it and, and use that data somewhere. Uh, state can be incredibly helpful, even in functional components. Uh, and we don't always just want to pass things back and forth. Although oftentimes what we wanna do is uh, store something in a state and then pass it back and forth, maybe when like the entire form is saved. So to do that, we're going to need to do a couple things first. Um, to begin with, uh, we want to be able to get access to this data when there's a change. And right now, this text input, if we come and take a look at it, it doesn't take in any callbacks uh, to sort of reset its state and like send that out. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to do a pub um, handle on change. Uh, this is going to be a callback that is going to pass a string. Now, I would love to be able to just use handle call, handle on change uh, in here um, from props but it's in a callback, which does mean that we have to move it in here. And of course, we don't want to move the only one we have. Uh, we're going to need to clone it first. So we're going to do a let handle on change equals um, props. Handle on change, clone this. And now, because we put that move in there, we can now just use this. Emit, and then we're gonna pass the value in. That's everything we should need to do in this file here. Uh, we can now come to the molecule that we have for this custom, um, the custom form. And we have this text input that's now yelling at us because we're not doing anything with that on change. So let's go ahead and now create a, well, on change um, callback that we can use for this one. And let's just start with console logging this out. And in this text input, we'll handle this here. Oh, I did, uh, I called this handle on change. Okay, uh, so now I have that. Let's just double check that that's working really quickly. So if we just type anything, we now see username changed in custom form and that hello. Okay, so we now have access to the data in our organism component. Next up, we want to start setting state. Now, there are two ways to handle state in, in um, u.rs. Uh, three if we count external systems, but inside of, um, inside of u.rs, it gives us two options. Now, one if we're gonna be using um, function components, which we are, and then another one if we're using more struct components, or if you're used to something like React, that would be class-based components. Since we're using function components, we're going to use the useState hook. Documentation for uh, the hooks can be found in u.rs at docs, uh, concepts, function components, and then the predefined hooks. Uh, U does give us the option of creating our own hooks, uh, but that's going to be outside of the scope of this, scope of this course. So the first one that's listed here is useState. 
And it's the one that I find the most value from. Uh, basically, use state uh, gives, when we use this, it gives us a use state handle, which we can clone just like with uh, callbacks. Uh, it provides a set method for us to now set what that state is. Uh, when we initialize, when we initially create it, we have to initialize it. So we can see that right here. We're initializing this counter, let's say, to be a zero. You could set it to be a new value, and then you can uh, get access to it with a deref. So that's what we're going to do here. Now it's going to be a little bit interesting because we're going to be working with um, uh, strings and strings we can't directly print out uh, in the HTML. So we may have to do a little bit of strangeness to get that working. Let's start by setting an initial state uh, for our username. So underneath this, uh, well, let's just do it at the very top here. So we're going to do our maybe um, username state equals state. Um, our initialization function doesn't take anything in, and we're going to return a, I want to create just like um, uh, no username set. Now I want to print that out. Let's uh, do this down here at the bottom. Let's do something like um, and we we want to be able to just say uh, username state here. And if we do that, we get this error and it's saying, hey, we can't we can't actually use a use state handle with a string in it that doesn't implement display. So, okay, if we dereference this, now it's saying, hey, we can't, we still can't do that. It doesn't implement the copy trait. Well, can we like reference the dereference? And that works. So I'm referencing the dereference. So basically we start with a use handle string, I dereference it, that gives us the string. I then reference that, that gives us a stir of the string, and that can be handled because that implements display. Okay, let's go and uh, and see what this looks like. Well, it doesn't look like much, right? It looks like it's maybe not working. However, it actually does exist here. Uh, however, we kind of have, um, we kind of forgot that in browsers, uh, all the text is by default black and we've set the background to be black. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that really quickly. I'm going to do that in the index HTML. I'm just going to set, well, we have a default background color of black here. We're also going to set a default color of white and then individual components can overwrite those if they want to. Back to here, and now we see what this is. Now we want to have that state update whenever we make a change to this. So if I just say, you know, my name is Brooks, and click off, I want that to now be set here. Okay, uh, it's going to be very similar to what we did um, in text input. Uh, we need to take this username state, we need to clone it, and then we're going to set it in here. So let um, cloned username state We're going to set this um, this callback here. Um, uh, we want this to be a clone. Uh, sorry, a move. And then instead of this log, we are going to now um, just use this cloned username state. We're going to set it to this value, which is this username.
everything should still be happy. So if we come over here, no username set, I do Brooks, I click off and that auto updates for us. So essentially we've done a little bit of binding here. Um, whenever anything changes here, we now, that state updates, whenever the state updates, it triggers a re-render, which then reads the state and then prints this out again. Uh, this is obviously very powerful. This is uh, going to allow us to now make changes to our HTML and have things you know, update automatically based upon the state changes. Hopefully this has been very helpful for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.